we scoured that bush like every inch of it, and there's nothing. There's something not right about that case. Okay, I'm hooked already. I don't know about you, but that's the trailer for CBC's new podcast series, Someone Knows Something. It is the work of David Ridgen. He hosts the new show. You probably recognize him from our program. We talked <laughs> many times. David's a renowned filmmaker. He's done some incredible work on cold cases, bringing them back and doing a very important documentaries. Now in charge of this. And great to have you with us this morning. Thanks, Heather. Thanks. Someone Knows Something. I love the title. Tell us about the series. Well, it's a podcast series, so it means that uh, it can roll out on a weekly basis. Uh, since we have control of how long uh, the episodes can be, they can be five minutes, they can be 50 minutes, we just go wherever the evidence takes us, uh, working with family members, looking at cold cases. So that's what it, it's all going to focus on, cold cases. Yeah. So does this sound familiar? It would be so, you know, to give you a compare, people a comparator, because we always like to have something like Serial, something like Making a Murderer, something like that? I would suggest Serial is probably more like it. Okay. Uh, I've deliberately stayed away from watching or listening to Serial or Making a Murderer, uh, just because I don't want to copy yeah. it, even unconsciously. <laughs> so, I mean, I've already done this kind of stuff anyway. Exactly. So it's kind of like I'm just leading off from where I was before, except it's in podcast format. So you mentioned you can do it however long. Is there any other ad advantage to doing it in a podcast format? Yeah, I mean, true crime is really in the air these days, and I think part of the reason is because of the new social media tools that are at hand, so audience can take part in, in actually trying to solve the crime. So I think for a podcast, it's exciting for me uh, to get into this because I think the cases we're selecting really have a viable chance of being solved through audience participation. Well, I mean, listen, if it's anything like we saw making a murder became a phenomenon in the United States and globally, too. So people, as, as you suggest, right. looking for opportunities to participate. So in the first season, we are going to learn about the case of Adrian McNaughton. Let's look at some pictures of that together and also tell us about this young boy. Well, Adrian McNaughton was five years old. Uh, he went on a fishing trip with his family on June 12, 1972. Uh, leaving the small town of Armprior where I grew up, uh, which is part of the reason we're doing this one first. Um, they went on a fishing trip to Holmes Lake, and it was about five when they arrived in the afternoon. Uh, shortly thereafter, Adrian went up a hill and disappeared, and not Did a trace it? ever found. Yeah. In 1972. Yeah. But yeah. is that something that has been, you know, unspoken or but the whole community still remembers yeah or? I mean it's one of those dark clouds that kind of hangs over a community and growing up there I remember people talking about the case my mom and dad know the family uh, I know the family and uh, it's one of those cases that people have always said Dave why don't you do this one because you grew up here why are you going to Mississippi and why are you doing stuff across the country why don't you do something here so uh, when the podcast uh, opportunity arose I said let's do this one and we decided to do it, but it, I mean, it's 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 interesting going back to the town, and I think people are relieved to be able to talk about it, actually. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And at the end, obviously, the goal is potentially solve these. Right. The, the, at the end, the goal is always obviously to solve the crime and find the truth and you know get the bad guy. But I think in the end, also the process of getting there is as important somehow. You know, in talking to people, using um, the information we find, the family members looking at things they've never seen before. I have a feeling that it, it kind of helps them, you know, to kind of revisit the case in a way that they weren't really prepared to first. And then I think it's kind of like opening a wound and letting it heal better, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? So How much material do you have? I mean, this is the, the this one case. I hadn't heard of this case, actually. Uh, how many cold cases uh, are there that you can delve there's into? There's hundreds of cold cases in North America, I mean, in Canada, too. Uh, and we've sifted through a lot of them. And the, the first uh, year, we're thinking of doing three cases, but uh, mm -hmm. so far... This is the first one. We're starting that, and it'll play out over the number of episodes depending on That's material right. and right. what you what So you far, find. we started with the idea of four episodes for the McNaughton case, and now we're up to, I think, nine. So we really? go wherever the evidence takes us. It's going to be terrific. How do people find this, David? Uh, we can go to iTunes, actually. iTunes is where you get podcasts from. Uh, CBC has a website, uh, www.cbc.ca slash SKS. Someone knows something. Someone knows something, and hopefully they'll be tuning in and adding to your information and potentially getting to the root of some of these mysteries. Let's hope. I hope so. David, a pleasure to have you in again. Thanks Thank very you. Much. Best of luck with this. It launches today. David Ridgen, your host.